do tonight. Oh, hallelujah. He's an awesome God. Let's pray. Oh, Lord, we love you and we thank you so much, oh, God, for your mercy. We thank you, oh, Lord, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for the truth, oh, God. We thank you for salvation, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, the list goes on and on and on. We have so many things to be thankful for, oh, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for the opportunity that we have uh, to come into this place, oh, God, uh, together, oh, Lord, uh, to lift up our hearts and our voices to you, oh, Lord, uh, to give you praise that you are so worthy of, oh, God. Uh, we love you tonight, oh, Lord, uh, and we ask, oh, God, that you would bless every single person here. Uh, Lord, you heard all the requests that we have prayed about, oh, Lord, uh, that are been written on these cards, oh, God. Uh, you know, oh, Lord, uh, the prayers of what's on each person's heart here tonight. Uh, Lord, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or ask tonight uh, so Lord we are lifting up oh Lord uh, our faith and praise and in prayer tonight oh Lord that you would do something awesome in front of us today oh Lord uh, we look to you oh Lord uh, bless us oh God uh, with your presence uh, in the name of Jesus we ask uh, amen amen God bless you
know this is a new song, but when you're singing it, think of the words. Do you believe in your heart that we're going to take this city for Christ? Amen. Amen. This building can't hold it. Hello? Hello? Amen. This building right. can't hold it. There's a revival sweeping Lancaster. And I want to be a part of it.
the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're good. You're good. You're good. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. good, isn't he? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, I know what I was sent to preach tonight is the will of the Lord. I know. Because God confirmed it. But I'm not going to get into it just yet because the Lord likes this. So this just praise it. I ain't got to be nowhere. You got to be anywhere? <laughs> oh, hallelujah, hallelujah.
rain down
Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You're a great God, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know how to send her home with joy tonight, Lord. Send her home with joy tonight, Lord. With joy, Lord. Oh, Lord, with joy, God. You know how to replace sorrow with joy, God. You know how to do it, Lord. Bless her, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. You're a great God, Lord. You're a great, great, great God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Bless Jay Lynn, oh Lord. Bless Jay Lynn, oh Lord. Yes, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. We can bless you in a wonderful, wonderful way today, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. That's right, honey. Let's get your heart to the Lord. That's right. Let's go out before the Lord. That's right. Yes, honey. That's right, honey. That's exactly right. Yeah, the Lord loves you. He loves you, baby. He loves you. Yes, he does. The Lord loves you. Yes. 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 He loves you. Yes, he does. Oh, Lord, bless her tonight, Lord. Oh, Lord, he can put great joy in her spirit tonight, Lord. Put great joy in her spirit tonight, Lord. Bless her, God. You know, Lord, what you need, Lord. Bless her, God. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
God's good, isn't he? I said the Lord is good, isn't he? Amen. Praise God. Well, amen. Praise the Lord. struggling because I don't feel released not to preach what I came to preach, but I don't want to hold you too late. So can I have 20 minutes? Can I have 20 minutes? If you, if you believe I can get it done in 20 minutes, stand to your feet. Boy, I better get this done. I noticed Brother Morris, he didn't stand up. I appreciate you, brother, for being honest tonight. More time. Well, you, I appreciate that. Amen. If you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to 2 Samuel chapter 23. Amen. Eventually, when we get our new building, we will have a prayer room off to the side for those that are slain in the spirit can go be slain, and we can, yeah, we'll slay them over there. I'm just kidding. Second Samuel chapter 23, verse number 13. And three of the 30 chief went down and came to David in the harvest time under the cave of Dalam. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rapium. And David was then in a hold. And the garrison of the Philistines was, in, was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem and was, that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. It is not this, is, is not this the blood of men that went in jeopardy of their lives, therefore he would not drink it. The, these things did these three mighty men. Uh, these things did these three mighty men. Father, we thank you for your word. We also thank you, Lord, for the mighty spirit of the Lord that has filled in this place. Lord, I pray tonight, God, that you anoint me, that you fill me full of what you want to say. And Lord, I pray in the precious name of Jesus that you fill this place even more so than you have already tonight, God. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you. I am going to hurry to try to get this done. David was in such a geographical point in his life where he is stuck in his journey. 
and he is in a battle and he finds himself in a place where at that moment in time that he longed for a drink of a well from his youth. And he luckily, or I shouldn't say luckily, but he had uh, three, the Bible says, mighty men that stood at his side. Now each one of them had a name. I have the definitions here, but we're not going to go through that right now. We're going to skip on ahead. There are times in our lives where we wish that we had something from our youth or uh, that we had renewal again or revival in our heart again or a passion for prayer again or, or my life to experience a, be, be, a bit of peace again or that we would drink from the wells of the waters of Bethlehem. And here is David in his time uh, desiring uh, that he had that water. He, he, he was the king of these men. Uh, oh, that someone would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. Uh, perhaps uttered in just a sigh of a moment uh, or maybe just in the sigh uh, of a thought uh, that I wish I had this. Uh, but the three mighty men uh, did not hear the sigh of a, of a desire of thinking, uh, oh, I just wish wish I had a Lamborghini or oh I just wish I had this what they heard was the desire of their king and when their king gave them a desire it wasn't going to be anything that stood in their way it didn't make a difference what mountain or what valley they had to cross it didn't make a difference which direction they had to go they were going to do what their king had desired of them I've come to preach to you tonight is there a few good men left among us is there somebody that's willing uh, that when your king gives you a command uh, or your king has a desire that you will step up to the forefront uh, and you'll push through the enemy lines uh, to get to where your king uh, wants you to go. The desire of these mighty men was that they served their king. Uh, no matter what danger they had to face, uh, no matter what paths they had to take, uh, no matter how long it took them, uh, and no matter what the cost, uh, they were intent on providing uh, the king's desires. In a book, the quote came out that there is a considerable truth in the idea that revivals are born after midnight. For revivals or any other spiritual gift or graces uh, come only by those who want them badly enough. It may not be said, or it may be said uh, without uh, qualification that every man is as holy and as full of the Spirit as he wants to be. He may not be full as he wishes he were, but he is most certainly as full as he wants to be. Every person in this place, uh, if you desire a gift of God, uh, you have exactly as much as you desire to have uh, because if you want any more of it, uh, you will push forward for it. Uh, if you want more of the Holy Ghost, uh, you will push more for it. Uh, if you want more of the spiritual acts, uh, you'll push more for it. Uh, if you want more you will go after it friend uh, let me tell you something uh, if you want something you'll go for it uh, well God has said uh, that this city belongs to us uh, and if we desire to have it uh, come hell or high water we will push for it uh, we will go through the valleys uh, we will go through the trials uh, we will go through the tribulations uh, to get after what God has desired to have Give me a little bit more monitor. Our abilities do not lie within our own. Our abilities lie within the desires of our king. Our king has said that he desires that none should perish but that all have everlasting life. It is within our ability if we're willing to follow after what the king's desires is. King, if you want the black section of town, I'm going to go after it. If you want the Hispanic side of town, I'm going to go after it. If you want the Asian side of town, I'm going to go after it. If you want the Native American side of town, I'm going to go after it. If you want the Amish side of town, I'm going to go after it. If you want the Mennonite side of town I'm going to go after it it doesn't make a difference king if it's your desire I'm willing to do whatever it takes to go after it the 
Bible said that they broke through the host of the Philistines. When you are willing to do your king's desire, when you are willing to do what he has called you to do, you better expect opposition. You better expect that there's going to be an enemy that has drawn a line, that he's rallied his cavalry, that he's standing there waiting for you to get there. But if there's a few good men among us, a few good ladies among us that are willing that no matter what that the enemy says I can't do, that you will march through, you will bust through, and you will get to where you're going for the gates of hell shall not prevail. The scripture said that the men that David had around him in 2 Samuel 22 and 2 and everyone that was in distress and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was in discontentment, gathered themselves together, or gathered themselves unto him, uh, and he became a captain over them, uh, and they were with him about 400 men. Kind of sounds like the church, doesn't it? Those that are distressed those that are in bankrupt, those that are disconnected or discontented, uh, those are the ones that David had surrounding him. Uh, friend, uh, you are called out uh, to go after those uh, that are distressed, uh, that are bankrupt, uh, that are discontented. Why? Because they're looking for an answer and your God has it. Uh, but you've got to be willing uh, to bust through the lines uh, to get to where they are. And if you're not willing to go, then friend of mine, uh, you're going to find yourself lost. Uh, but God is looking for someone that is willing to go after what he wants. I know y'all are tired, y'all have worshipped. I still got 10 minutes. Ephesians 2, 1 through 7. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin. Wherein in times past uh, ye walked according to the course of the according to the prince of the, of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, uh, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, uh, in the lust of the flesh, uh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh uh, and of the mind, uh, and were by nature the children of wrath, uh, even as others. Uh, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us together with Christ, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward through or excuse me toward us through Christ Jesus somebody ain't got it yet somebody ain't got it yet if Jesus was willing uh, to come to this world uh, and bust through the lines of hell and allow his body to be beaten and sacrificed, bled and died so that you can have an opportunity, then friend of mine, uh, there's no wonder why I'm willing to go right back at the devil and say I will not, I shall not, I cannot, I will do what my king desires. Somebody praise him right now.
Lord, he must have stopped the clock back there. These mighty men were not worried about what they might lose. They weren't worried if their arm got cut off. They weren't worried if they'd lose an eye. They weren't worried what was going to happen to them. All they knew is that my king desires a drink of water. And friend, uh, they had to travel a long way to get there and a long way to get back. Uh, friend, uh, they were willing uh, to do whatever it took uh, for their king. Uh, I want to know, uh, is there still a few good men or women that are alive that says whatever king uh, you want me to do, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, if you want to drink uh, of the well of Bethlehem, uh, I'm willing to go. Uh, if you want me to go to the east, uh, the north, the south, or the west, uh, I'm willing to go. Whatever it takes, uh, I'm willing to do it. It only takes a few. Somebody don't take my clock down. It only takes a few men that are willing. If one can send a thousand, two can send ten thousand, three a hundred thousand, and on and on and on. No wonder when the Bible says uh, where two or three are gathered together I'll be with them in the midst. Uh, you're not alone. Uh, you shall never be alone. Uh, you'll never be without God. Uh, he's more than willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, you are not in this fight by yourself. Uh, David said uh, the battle's not mine, Lord. Uh, it's thine. Uh, and guess what? Uh, every single time uh, that David did what the king desired God showed up mm. come on brother Jared I'm through the choice is yours the decision belongs to you. It's your choice. The army has their posters out. Just a few good men. The Marines have theirs out. The Navy has theirs out. I, I might have even used that saying for one of the wrong ones. I don't know. All I know is they all protect us. And they've got their saying. Sign the dotted line so you can be one of these great men of valor. Well, your God has made a decree. Boy, it's got quiet all of a sudden. Your God is asking you, who's willing to go? See, it's okay to come in and shout and dance and have a good church service. That's just fine. It's okay to have a visitation of the Lord. But the reason why God visited you was to give you an unction under this message to say, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I want revival. I want to see people filled with the Holy Ghost. I want to see them baptized in Jesus' name. I want to see us teaching Bible studies. I want to see them going after the goal. Brother Jared didn't know I was going to preach this tonight. And I didn't know he was going to sing that. But my wife can tell you it's one of my most favorite songs. That I'm willing. There are people that are lost. They visit our churches. We need people that are willing to be visitor follow-ups. There are those that pray in our altars. We need those that are want to be altar workers. There are those 
that are just hungry for something. We need people to be Bible study teachers. Oh, come on, somebody. King, whatever you desire, I'm willing. And sometimes we just need a doorkeeper. Sometimes we need somebody just to clean the bathrooms. Sometimes we just need somebody to cook a meal for somebody that's hungry. I'm telling you, if we're going to reach this city, we're going to have to be exhausted. We're going to have to be tired. Uh, we're going to have to be willing. Uh, there are going to be times that we're going to feel like not raising our hands, uh, not worshiping that evening. Uh, there are going to be times that we don't feel like it. But if we're willing to do whatever it takes, uh, I promise you, friend, uh, God will give you more than your heart's desire because He is in it. Y'all forgot when y'all took that clock down as I have a clock on my iPad. And I'm yet 20 minutes and I did it in 20 minutes. Now we're going to begin to sing. If you're one of those few good men or ladies, if you're willing to go wherever it takes uh, and do whatever it takes, uh, I want you to make it out of your pews. Uh, I want you to make it out of your seats. Uh, and I want you to come up to this front uh, and say, God, uh, whatever it takes, uh, whatever your desire is, uh, I'm willing to go. To the north we cry out. To the south we will shout. The enemy and his kingdom must come down. To the east we profess. To the west we confess. The enemy and his kingdom must come down. Oh, to the north. To the north we cry out. To the south we will shout.
sing about His grace is greater Where the enemy reigns He will give us victory We are bold We are strong We are ready to march on Through Christ We will take this city We are bold We are strong We are ready to march on Through Christ We will take this city We are bold We are bold We are strong We are ready to march on Through Christ We will take this city We are bold We are bold We are strong We are ready to march on Through Christ We will take this city We are bold We are bold We are strong
la 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 boya da 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 boya ha. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him a hand clap of praise. Yeah, Lord. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. You can make it back to your seats if you feel like it. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Brother Justin is the, we quit broadcasting. Praise the Lord. God is good, isn't he?